Welcome to our doctor channel, your destination for reliable medical information, breakthrough research, and insightful discussions on all things health-related. Diabetic gangrene, also known as diabetic foot gangrene, is a serious complication of diabetes mellitus that results from poor blood circulation and nerve damage, neuropathy, in the extremities, particularly the feet. It occurs when a combination of factors, including high blood sugar levels and reduced blood flow, lead to tissue damage and infection. Here, I'll describe the symptoms and causes of diabetic gangrene in detail. Symptoms of diabetic gangrene Pain, initially, there may be pain or discomfort in the affected foot, but in many cases, diabetic neuropathy can lead to reduced or absent sensation so pain might not be prominent. Color changes, the affected area may become discolored, typically progressing from red to dark purple or black. This change in color indicates tissue death, necrosis. Swelling, swelling may occur around the affected area due to inflammation and infection. Ulcers, diabetic foot ulcers are common precursors to gangrene. These are open sores or wounds on the foot which may not heal properly. Foul odor, gangrene is associated with the release of gases and toxins by the decaying tissue, resulting in a foul odor. Drainage or pus, pus or discharge may be present at the site of the infection. Blisters, blisters filled with fluid, blood, or pus may develop in the affected area. Fever, if the infection spreads beyond the local area, it can lead to systemic symptoms like fever and chills. Causes of diabetic gangrene Poor blood sugar control The primary cause of diabetic gangrene is uncontrolled diabetes, especially when blood sugar levels remain consistently high over an extended period. Elevated blood sugar damages blood vessels and nerves, leading to reduced blood flow to the extremities. Peripheral neuropathy Diabetic neuropathy is a condition in which high blood sugar levels damage the nerves, particularly in the feet and legs. This neuropathy impairs the ability to feel pain and other sensations, making it more likely for injuries and wounds to go unnoticed and untreated. Peripheral arterial disease, PAD. People with diabetes are at an increased risk of developing peripheral arterial disease, which is characterized by narrowed and hardened arteries. This condition reduces blood flow to the extremities, further compromising the ability of the body to heal wounds. Foot ulcers, diabetic foot ulcers are often the starting point for gangrene. These ulcers can develop due to a combination of factors, including neuropathy, pressure on the feet, and impaired circulation. Once an ulcer becomes infected and is not properly managed, it can progress to gangrene. Foot trauma, even minor injuries, cuts, or blisters on the feet can become problematic for people with diabetes, as their compromised immune system and poor circulation make it difficult for the body to fight infections. Smoking and high blood pressure, these are risk factors that can exacerbate the effects of diabetes on blood vessels and further reduce blood flow to the extremities. Peripheral venous disease, while less common than arterial disease, Venous insufficiency can also contribute to the development of gangrene. Diabetic gangrene is a serious and potentially life-threatening condition. Early detection and prompt medical intervention, which may include antibiotics, wound care, surgical debridement, removal of dead tissue, and in severe cases, amputation, are crucial to preventing the spread of infection and saving the affected limb or life. Managing diabetes through blood sugar control, foot care, and regular medical checkups can help reduce the risk of diabetic gangrene. If you or someone you know has diabetes and experiences any of the symptoms mentioned above, seek immediate medical attention.